So today you're just looking at a caterpillar and listening to me, which is boring, but okay. Um, today we're going to be talking about their basic needs. So we'll start off with their container. I put mine here. I'll show you guys. Mine is in this container. I know it's upside down, but I dumped everything out because I'm washing it, cleaning it. And we'll get to that, and we'll get to that in like a second. So, um, it's kind of fun and easy. They like to be in big containers with a bunch of food and a bunch of bark and a bunch of just stuff butterflies would like. I'm putting everything back into its cage for him because he loves it. And where is he? Oh, there he is. Come here, Izzy. His name is Isabel. He is an Isabel tiger moth. Um, so we talked about their container, kind of. You can go in a mason jar, poke at least nine holes. You guys, sorry, he wasn't in the camera light. I am outside, so that's why the lighting might not be good as good as normal. Okay, and they, they're so they also really like to be in a windowsill. If you don't know what that is, that's like a part of a window, and in um and out in garages or sheds. Next, what you'll put into their thing so that it feels like their natural habitat. Well, so mine like sticks, onion peels, bark, lettuce, flowers, grass, dirt, and leaves. Well, every caterpillar likes leaves, unless they're like allergic right out, they will be. Um, you can put dirt in it if you really want to. Keep them for two days when they're moths. I know I'm kind of scattering all this information. So we'll start the natural habitat. Normally, the dew helps. The dew that they get in the morning is what hydrates them. But if they're not outside or in a shed, they don't get it. If they're not in a shed with an open window. That's what I mean, you guys. If that makes any more sense. To get the dew. Um, But still, you guys, they really like to climb with their suction cups. And I don't know. They love, they climb on your arms and everything. If you start getting little spikes ah, of them, it's just, it's just them. It's just their fur. Um, I already said what they like to eat. But, yeah, so I'm going to put on my sweatshirt quick, so hopefully he doesn't go away. Ah, he's running away! Oh, is he? Oh, is he? Okay, now I can actually finally talk. So, they really, 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 really like onion peels and dried out roses for chairs. And I don't doubt that because who doesn't like roses and who doesn't like onion peels? I don't, but some people do. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, in the winter you probably don't want to touch them because they migrate. So, yeah. It's kind of funny watching them. Like they don't move and they don't breathe. Put dry out leaves, like I already said all that. Put grass and dandelions. Or just flowers. Oh no, she fell! Whoopsies, she's back. Um, all their basic needs. Oh yeah, put one to two drips of water in their cage every day and clean their cage like once a week. Keeps them safe and does, and like, you know what, doesn't, it keeps them safe and help them so they don't get hydrated. You guys, she likes climbing a lot and then she just loses it. She climbs off my hand and falls, you guys. Don't do that. Don't be scared to touch them, guys. They're not gonna hurt. If you're allergic to them, you'll start getting rashes on your hands. I have rashes, but they're not on my hands and they're not from her. I'll just know. 
probably from something else. Because when I the first couple weeks I got her, there was no rashes. My rashes are just from I here. I'll show you. I kind of live nature. Ah, sorry. Like over there and everywhere. So I'll get rashes for much of When I go out in the woods, I will show you the wood, but my mom's over there. She doesn't like being on video. But let's get back to the topic. Tadpoles are really fun, and mine, I don't know if you guys can see, is a sap. But mine is like fat right there and then skinny, and its legs go sideways. That's why I got mine. Because it was hurt and because it was buried under rock. So that's why its suction cups are good as normal ones. And guys, save nature. Here's a way to just help. Watch the Cincinnati Zoo at 2 o'clock every day at 3 o'clock central where they live if you live in Cincinnati. Just, it depends. If I live in Minnesota, our times will always be the same. It would be for 2 o'clock for me. Except I don't actually live in Minnesota. I just made that up. I don't want to say where I live, guys. So, yeah. Um, rescue them. Save them. Just donate to this, donate to zoos. If you see a hurt animal, bring it into a vet or something. Make a birdhouse, make a bird feeder. Make a bat house, or, or buy them. Bats, you guys, aren't bad insects. Bats, you guys, actually help you. Yeah, they're creepy and all, but they save you. Peep, they, okay, you can die from mosquitoes, and you know what, bats do, they eat all types of mosquitoes. So they're kind of saving people's lives. Bats are helpful. Do not kill them. Try not to kill too many warriors or pheasants. You can kill like two or three. That's a person. Just don't kill them all. Don't go kayak hunting. Coyotes are a nature threat. We can't live without deer, without meat. So we get it from the deer, but we don't kill like 10,000 a year. We can't kill, as a family, people kill like seven a year. That's not that much, okay? Just save wildlife. Bye. Just try to save wildlife. Bye.